All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this video. So it's finally here. What is Archipelago? I promised this video all the way back in I think October. So it's finally done, and uh, it's going to be a three-part series. So in the first part, I'm going to talk about inspirations. So games that I'm inspired by, and uh, talk why why I'm inspired by them, and what specific parts I like. Uh, and then the second part and the third part are both going to be things that I want to put in the game. So I'm going to talk about the class system, uh, crafting and resources, dungeons, uh, islands, and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So that's going to be the last two parts. Uh, so for the first part, I'm going to be showing little clips of the games and stuff that I like about them. And on the last two parts, it's just going to be uh, pictures that I did uh, to show off uh, like like prototype GUIs and stuff. I just want to mention one last thing. Not everything is going to be in these videos, so I'm not saying everything that's going to be in the game. There's going to be a lot more than this and I'm hiding a lot of stuff because I want it to be a surprise when the game comes out. Also if I do a Kickstarter I want to have some surprises for them too. And not everything I say in these videos will definitely be in the final game. I might finally decide to not put some things in there because um, maybe it just doesn't make sense to. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here's part one. Alright, so let's start off with some inspirations. So my main inspiration was the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, more specifically Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass though. So my first Zelda game I ever played was Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And that was my favorite game, even though it got a lot of negative feedback, I really liked it. So for Archipelago, I'd really like to capture the sense of exploration that you have in these games. So like being able to go around the world with your boat and exploring and going to any island without uh, being forced to go somewhere. So really open world concept, no, not linear at all. Uh, that's what I really like with those games and I want to do that with Archipelago. So Archipelago's world is going to be filled with a bunch of islands, so big and small ones. Uh, you'll be able to travel all over any anywhere in the world you want, straight from the beginning of the game. You can go on any island you want. You can discover secret treasures uh, on the islands. You can go to story-related islands to do quests. Or you could even go on randomly generated islands uh, that the server will generate, that uh, players can actually claim them. Uh, but more on claiming islands later. Another aspect I really like with the Legend of Zelda series is the puzzles. I want there to be a lot of puzzles in Archipelago, whether you're playing alone or with a friend. So you can do puzzles uh, that require more than one person, or you can do puzzles that just require one person, uh, whatever you want. Uh, there will also be dungeons with bosses, just like Zelda, that's another thing I really liked with those games. One of my favorite things too in Zelda is that you have these special tools that you find. So if you go into like a main dungeon or temple, they call them, uh, you could find a tool. So I don't know, just say a boomerang and it'll help you solve some puzzles. I thought that was like really cool concept. That was one thing I definitely wanted to put in Archipelago. So uh, I don't know, for example, uh, from Wind Waker, one of the first dungeons, I think it actually is the first dungeon, you have to use your boomerang to shoot uh, a switch that is on the other side of a wall that you can't reach just by walking there. So you have to use your boomerang, and that's kind of the puzzles that I would do, uh, but more complicated, of course. They get more complicated as you progress in the game. So I want to do that for Archipelago. So as you can tell, a lot of my inspiration is from Zelda. When I was younger, I really wanted an online Zelda-like experience. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do with Archipelago. I want to make like a kind of like a Zelda game you can play with your friends. All right, so let's go on to the next inspiration. So my next inspiration is this game called Hammer Watch. Uh, I got it a couple of years ago on Steam, but I only started playing it a few days ago. And I gotta say, I really like it. Uh, one thing that I really like with that game is the combat system. So I find it very satisfying to just go around and kill a bunch of waves of monsters that are rushing at you. And I also really like the 8 directional uh, combat too. Currently Archipelago only has up left down right, but uh, Hammer Watch has uh, diagonals also, which I thought was really cool. So I definitely want to try to do something like that for Archipelago. And I just wanted to clarify too, the combat in Archipelago is going to be real time. So 
It's gonna be action combat. It won't be turn-based like most RPGs. One thing that Hammer Watch is really good at is the multiplayer combat. So each player has like a specific role. There's different classes. Uh, each one goes around, does different things, and that's that. Really, they're inspired by another game called Gauntlet. So that was their inspiration for Hammer Watch. Uh, that's an old arcade game. Actually, my dad used to play that when he was when he was a teenager with his friends. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that that's what I wanted to do for Archipelago. But more on dungeons later, though. So my next inspiration isn't a specific game or series. It's just traditional MMORPGs in general. Uh, so I want Archipelago to be familiar uh, to people who usually play MMORPGs. So I'm going to have original concepts, of course, in the game. It's not going to be like a copy-paste of World of Warcraft or something, but just 2D. Uh, but there's going to be a basic leveling system with experience points, uh, and you reach new levels. Uh, nothing complicated for that. Uh, you'll also get like a slight uh, stat boost whenever you level up. So basically just like any RPG for that point. Another thing you see in some MMORPGs, not all of them, but you do see it in some, is some sort of upgrading point system. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to call these points yet. But you can use them to spend on stats and to make them better. So just say you want to increase your agility, you spend some upgrade points on it, and you'll have a slightly faster agility stat. So I want to do that. Um, I want these points to be fairly rare though. So maybe, I don't know, like a 5% chance that an enemy will drop it uh, when they die, or um, maybe, if, maybe it'll be easier to get them once you're higher level. Um, but once you... The more you upgrade a stat, the more it'll cost to upgrade for the next one. Uh, kind of like a leveling system, so every level requires more and more experience to get to the next one. So I want to do that. But upgrade points will not be limited to just upgrading stats. You'll be able to upgrade other things like uh, weapons and tools and uh, also skills. I'll talk about skills later. I have a few smaller inspirations where I'm getting a couple of little ideas from also. So one that doesn't really seem, uh, that seems kind of weird that I'm inspiring off of, but Planetside 2. So if you don't know what that is, it's um, like a, a space game, almost like Halo, but when you play you're with like 3,000 other people. So it's considered as an MMO FPS. Um, it's kind of like, a, yeah, you capture bases and stuff. Uh, but the main thing that I'm inspiring off of from this game is the class changing system. So in that game, you just go to what they say, uh, they call it a, a terminal. You just go to a terminal, you change your class, and then you have uh, uh, class-specific weapons and tools. And I want to do that with Archipelago. I'll talk a little bit more about classes there in, uh, in more detail in a bit. Uh, other two games that I'm inspired of are Minecraft and Terraria. So what I'm inspired of from these games is the resource collection and crafting. Um, I'm more inspired by the Terraria side, uh, even though it's probably been inspired off Minecraft from the beginning. But um, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about that also in a bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting inspiration from those games also. So as you can see, I have a lot of inspiration from many sources. Um, my, and my plan for Archipelago is that it's almost going to be like my perfect game that I would have loved to play. Uh, right now or even a few years ago uh, It's a mishmash of a bunch of things that I really like and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it also All right everyone that's the end of part one part two will be up on Wednesday So if you want to check it out, it's going to be out on Wednesday If you want to help out the development of the game I'll put download links in the description for both Android and uh, computer, whether on Mac, Linux, or Windows. Uh, you can also report bugs. You can submit suggestions in the comments, and I'll definitely read them. So thank you for watching. Next part, we'll talk about things that will be in Archipelago. So I'll be covering for that part uh, classes and dungeons and uh, also skills. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys on Wednesday.